Hello, this is Tanner Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to make an amazingly powerful coil gun from parts found in old electronic devices. Now, I know that I have a coil gun in one of my previous videos, but that coil gun was not very powerful. And it also didn't charge very fast. This new coil gun that I built charges much quicker and is about 10 times more powerful than the other coil gun. So, now to how it works. To understand how a coil gun works, you need to look at a schematic. So I drew up this coil gun schematic for my coil gun. My coil gun is powered by a 12 volt battery. This battery powers a 555 timer oscillator, which puts out a 60 hertz square wave. This 60 hertz square wave turns these two transistors on and off as to create a 60 hertz sine wave. This sine wave is then put through a transformer. This transformer is 7 volts to 240 volts. I found it in an exit sign. It doesn't actually put out 240 volts because the inverter, the 555 inverter, only puts out about a 3 volt sine wave. So this makes somewhere about uh, 100 and 50, 170 volt output. That output is fed into a bridge rectifier, which then charges six 200 volt capacitors. These capacitors were pulled out of computer power supplies. Now, these capacitors, some of them are rated for 220 microfarads, some of them are rated for 560 microfarads, and some of them are rated for 1,500 microfarads. Now, because I have six capacitors, this makes for a total of about 5,000 microfarads. This, once these capacitors are charged, this analog display will yet let you know. I found this analog display in an old Betamax player. Oh, I'm sorry, I mean 8-track player. The voltage goes through a 0.75 mega ohm resistor before going through the analog meter as to not short it out. Now once you know the capacitors are charged, this triac can be used to let the full power flow through the solenoid that you built to accelerate the magnetic projectile. This silicon controlled rectifier is powered by a small 1.5 volt button cell battery. It is then you the power then flows through a push button switch to activate the SCR and release all the energy. So this is how my coil gun works. Now the battery that runs this whole coil gun is a lithium RC car battery. The power from this battery flows through these two wires into the on and off switch. This switch char turns on the oscillator to charge the capacitors and turns it off. Now to this side. This circuit board right here is the 555 inverter circuit board. The output of this is fed into the exit sign transformer. The output of the exit sign transformer is fed into this bridge rectifier, which is then fed into all the capacitors. As you can see, there's five on this side and one on the other side. These capacitors are each rated for 200 volts, so they don't short out and explode if I add too much voltage. This board right here is the silicon controlled rectifier board. This is one of the only parts that I actually bought. I bought this on eBay for about 79 cents, and I also bought the 555 timer for eBay from a, for about 35 cents. The button cell battery holder is made from t three copper wires. Now for the analog display. This display is good because it tells you how full your coil gun is, so you know when to fire it. This analog display is in series with a 0.75 mega ohm resistor and that bridges the two capacitors. This resistor was chosen because 
When the capacitors reach their full charge that they can achieve with the inverter circuit that I have, the needle will be on the line between white and red. Now for the solenoid. The solenoid is one of the main parts of a coil gun. It is the part that creates the magnetic field that accelerates your magnetic projectile out of the tube. The solenoid is made from about 200 to 250 turns of copper wire, 28, 26 gauge. I didn't really count how many turns, but I'm estimating it's about 200. The, the wire is wrapped around a pen tube. The whole gun is built on a piece of plywood. I drilled holes in the piece of plywood to fit the capacitor so I can save space. This is the whole coil gun. Now, to fire your coil gun. Before you do anything, you need to flip on the charge switch so the capacitors start charging. You will be able to see the needle slowly rising. Now, you take your projectile. This projectile can be anything metal. I'm using a screwdriver tip that's replaceable. So you take your projectile and you insert it into the tube. This needs to be fully into the tube. Now, what you do is you need to wait until the needle reaches its full capacity, which is in between the white and red. So, this usually takes about 45 seconds to a minute for the capacitors to fully charge. Now, the capacitors are charged. Now to shooting it. Okay, so we're ready to shoot it. The barrel of the gun is right here, and the target is that piece of paper over there. So I'm going to press the red button on the back, which is going to activate the SCR and release all the magnetic energy. As you can see, this is a very powerful coil gun. The bullet came out of there, and it immediately punctured the paper, went all the way through, and made a dent in the cardboard behind it. Three, two, one. As you can see, another cool feature of this coil gun is that it can be held by hand. So you can hold the bottom as the grip and you can have your thumb on the back to press the red trigger. So you can hold this like a gun and use it like a gun. As always, thank you for watching and please subscribe.